guys, welcome back to day five of our 13 days of Halloween series here at Polly's Paper Studio. Today we are all about the treats and we're going to create this basic Halloween treat bag and I've got the cutting guide and the scoring measurements for you. And then you can choose as little or as much embellishment as you like to finish these boxes. So let's make this together. The inspiration for this project is the vintage Halloween circles from my shop. I opened these in Word and then I sized them to fit the circle die that I wanted to use to cut them. So I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check these out. You can get two bag bases out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. The first thing you want to do is cut off two strips, the full 12 inches, but it's 7 eighths of an inch wide. And that will become your two handles. Then you will have two pieces that are five inches by 10 and a half. So this is the only portion that isn't going to be used. So you'll get two bases with handles from one sheet of the cardstock. So where are your score lines going to be? Well, I've got this piece here. Okay, so we want to make a box that is one inch by four inches by four inches. So our first score line is going to come in at half an inch there. And then just so that I'm not on the half inch for measuring further, I'm going to slide that score line down to one. Um, so the next score is going to be at two inches. That is going to be one side. The next score is going to be at six and that is going to be the front or the back. Then we've got one more score at seven inches. That will be one more side. And then another, um, side will come because we cut it at ten and a half so this will be four inches left. Now you want to take this whole thing and turn it on its side and the score line here is going to be one inch all the way down. So what I did was I went in and I clipped out that very small portion that was from the tab score and then I clipped in between of those uh, score lines on the smaller side of that score line. This is a good time to add your adhesives because that way when you put your other paper layers on uh, you won't be getting in the way of those dimensional bits. So I am going for the score tape and this is a quarter inch. I want a good solid uh, adhesion here because when we put our treats inside I want it to be very sturdy so that is going to be for the tab and then this is the piece that will be closing up the bottom of the box because you want the cut edge to be on the back see so what we're gonna do is fold this up here's your first tape and then you want to fold it backwards and here is your second tape for that. Okay, so what we will do first is go ahead and finish all of these um, edges so that it will be done when we go to assemble it. So remember this is the front. Here's the back. Let's put a pattern paper on there so that it looks finished all the way around. Because this is four inches. I've got my squares cut at three and seven eight by three and seven eight. That's going to leave me a border all the way around which I think looks very nice and makes it easier if you don't get things matched up perfectly exact. Here is some pattern paper for the front and I'm just going to add that same as I did for the back but we can top it with some extra layers. So I have this piece of striped pattern paper here and I am just going to add that to the bottom and while we're at it, go ahead and finish the sides. This is just cut the same height but slightly smaller because we want to leave that nice border. Here's one more for this side, and now it will be finished all the way around. So we can begin to add our layers. 
I've just got a small die cut doily here and I put some double sided adhesive tape on that. For this I'm going to just add it right to the middle. And then I'm going to top it with that image. Now I've got a die, a, a nesting circle die that worked to add a black border and I think that makes it just look a little bit nicer. I did also add foam in between so that I could pop that up and create some dimension. And I'm just centering that and sticking it down with a little bit of hot glue. Alright, now we can add the handle and that is much easier to do now instead of waiting for the box to be assembled. So what I want to do is add just a bit of this score tape. Uh, you might be tempted to add a staple or something like that, but I just think it's much safer not to add staples where you're going to have food. Um, so use hot glue or stitch it on or use this double-sided adhesive. And that is going to be um, where we can add the strip. Remember we cut these two uh, 7 8 inch wide strips. And I'm going to put the first one right down here. And you're like, what the heck, Jenny? It's not put together. But it's just so much easier this way because now what you can do is measure exactly how long you want this to be. So to me, it makes it nice if you want to use this as a, a random act of kindness or... Um, you know, given it full of treats or something to leave a little bit of extra room here so that you can have room to fill it with stuff. So I actually decided that my measurement would fit over a door handle because I want to be able to hang it up. Um, if you're going to boo somebody, you can um, fill this up and leave it on there door handle and they can have a nice treat. So this is going to be where I want it and I'm just going to pinch it here and hold it in place and take a pencil line and just make a tick there so that you can line it back up. So one more piece for the bottom and add one more piece for the top. That way it will be doubly secured. And then all you have to do is line that bottom of the strip back up with your pencil mark. So put it right here centered. It's hard to see on black but I'm just lining that up on that and centering it. And then when you close it everything lines back up perfectly. So that makes it very very easy. So let's go ahead and adhere the side to me, it's easier to do the side first, obviously. Start at the top and line it right up with the score line. And give it a good pinch so it won't move. And then come down here and line it up at the bottom too. That way you're not going to be sticking it down. And then at the bottom you'll find out that just a little bit off makes a big difference when you get to the end. So that will be the side. Tuck in these two flaps and this. And then this will be the last piece to close up the bottom. And just adhere that down. Okay, that is it for day five of our 13 days of Halloween series. We made a fun treat box, and you can finish these with as little or as much embellishments as you choose. Just make sure you fill them up with some treats and give them to someone special. If you enjoyed this project, make sure you come back tomorrow for day six. Leave me a comment, give me a like, and if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. As always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day, and I thank you all so much for watching. Bye.